News 46 is brought to you by Golden Casino Group, where you'll always find great fun, good food, and fantastic entertainment, all at Gold Town, Lakeside, and the Pahrump Nugget. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, landfill fees are waived to demolish a motel. A vehicle loses its load on the highway. And the 4-H Club offers many classes to area kids. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. And Unet Gentry. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Tuesday, March 2nd, 2017. I'm Deanne O'Donnell. And I'm Jeanette Gentry for News 46. The Board of County Commissioners discussed waiving the landfill fees for demolition debris from the Sundowner Motel located on Highway 95 in Tonopah. Let's go to item 20. This is for possible action discussion. Deliberation uh, to grant a request to waive landfill fees for demolition debris uh, for the Sundowner Motel in Tonopah. Commissioners, is there a motion on this? Mr. Chairman, this is my item also, and I'd make a motion to approve. This, um, this will allow us to get rid of one of the blight situations that we have in Tonopah, and they're doing a great job of deconstructing that old nasty building. So I would like to encourage. We have also checked with uh, the landfill manager, and there's plenty of room. It won't cause a hardship to anybody, but it will allow us to take care of that faster okay. with the owners. Second for discussion. All right. Motion by Commissioner Wickman, second by Commissioner Baraski. Discussion. Go ahead, Commissioner Baraski. Is there any way that, that when they take it to the landfill, they could burn it, considering it's mostly wood? and Well, that the re, whatever uh, restrictions are on the Tonopah, landfill. Mm -hmm. A lot of this is rock and concrete and conduit, okay. but I'm sure they do handle the stuff that can be composts. Okay, the thank you. Made. All right, further discussion? Nope. All in favor? Aye. 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 <clears throat> Aye. Pass 5-0. Five, Traffic was diverted around a debris field last night on the highway. Nevada Highway Patrol and a deputy with the Nye County Sheriff's Office blocked the intersection at Highway 160 and Basin Avenue last night for approximately three hours to clean up debris that had fallen from some type of vehicle. Nevada Highway Patrol told News 46 that the glass appeared to be from some kind of beer steins and that it didn't break down like automobile glass does. They were concerned about the damage done to vehicles crossing through this intersection. The debris field was very large and took many hours to sweep it off the roadway. There has been no reports of any tire damage at this time. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. And Pahrump is once again recognized for its resources. A local group is having an off-road training event called the Pahrump to Dakar Rally Experience. This April, JLR Off-Road Training are offering the experience, which debuts Friday, April 7th through Sunday, April 9th. Participants can register for either a two- or three-day event. The Pahrump to Dakar Rally Experience begins with an intense one-day map book-style rally navigation taught by a three-time Dakar State winner. The routes will be provided but essentially will end up in Dumont Dunes. They invite off-road vehicles and motorcycles to participate. Entry forms are available for the Prompt to Dakar Rally Experience at advlori at icloud.com. That's advlori at icloud.com. Las Vegas officials are looking to crack down on nuisance smells with a piece of equipment called the Nasal Ranger, which is used to determine whether a smell is potentially harmful. The $2,000 device brought before the city council on Monday could help enforce a proposed order, odor ordinance. Code enforcement officials would take readings of the air using the Nasal Ranger by holding it up to their nose and inhaling. Property owners who fail to comply with with the odor standards could face fines of up to $1,000.
Well, we're back on the air. So if you're listening right. to us on the radio on 95.9, KPVM channel 41.123 right. uh, and 4 is back up. Thanks to our technician. Thank you. So we had our transmitter um, down and uh, we had a power surge. So it's been a little bit of hectic around here, yes, but we're back. But we're up. back on the air, ready for you. Thanks to our heroes back there, including yes. Vern Van Winkle. Right after this break, we'll have your news across Nevada.